Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. In this episode, I'll show you how to use a depth map to create a 3D reveal effect. A depth map is a grayscale image that contains information about the distance between the elements in the image and the camera lenses. Closer elements have brighter tones of gray, while elements further away have darker tones of gray. You can think about it as a 2D expression of 3D information. The idea for this video was created by one of the viewers of this channel that goes by the username Punk80. He used the concept discussed in my tutorial about custom transitions, repurposed it for depth maps, and basically created a new effect. Punk80, thank you for sharing. This is an awesome idea. You can find the link for the custom transitions tutorial in the description of this video. For this episode, in addition to LumaFusion, you will need the app Focus, that can be downloaded for free from the App Store. To follow this episode, take a portrait picture using a device with either a dual or triple cameras setup. This is the picture that I will be using for this tutorial. Portrait pictures contain depth information. That's how the software knows to keep the subject in focus and at the same time blur the background. For more dramatic results, use a picture where the subject has various degrees of depth. Using the Focus app, open the portrait picture and create a depth map for it as shown. Using the technique discussed in the tutorial for custom transitions, you can gradually reveal the grayscale elements in the image. Closer elements, which are brighter, will be revealed first, followed by darker elements, further away. Now, let's jump to LumaFusion. Start with the background of your choice in the main track, and the depth map image in the track just above it. The background clip is about 10 seconds long, while the depth map is 7 seconds long. Edit the depth map. The next few steps are identical to the steps in the Custom Transitions tutorial. Go to Colors and Effects, tap on the Palette section and add the original preset. Adjust the Contract and Gamma, set the tint to green, and bring down the brightness and levels so no part of the image is visible as shown. Make sure the time slider is at the beginning and add a keyframe. Move the time slider to the 5 seconds mark. Adjust brightness and levels so the silhouette of the subject is fully visible, making sure that elements in the image that are further away are not visible. The keyframe will be automatically created. Now, remove the black background. To do so, go to the chroma key section, add the dark luma key preset, and adjust if necessary. This is how it looks like so far. Render the project. Now, let's take a look at the picture of the horse being used in this tutorial. The back of the horse is further away from the head, enough for it not to fall into the depth field of the camera and therefore looking a bit blurry. Depth of field, by the way, is the distance between the closest and the furthest elements that are in focus in an image. You want your whole subject to be in focus. To make that so, open the picture of the horse in the Focus app. Using the aperture control, remove the blur from the background as shown. Save the flat image. Focus will save it as a new image. Now open a new LumaFusion project. Add the flat image you just created to the main track and set the duration to 10 seconds. Add the previously rendered video in the track just above it. Edit the previously rendered video and go to Colors and Effect. Tap on the Chroma Key section. Add the green screen key preset. 
You may need to move the slider a bit into the video to see the results. Adjust if necessary. And you're done. This is how it looks like. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.